Okay, the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. I was talking in that opening segment about this whole Corbin situation on SmackDown. And one of the Twitch homies here, twitch.tv slash F4W video, apparently they... I mean, they thought what anybody would think if they don't watch SmackDown, and that is, Baron Corbin's a babyface? No, Baron Corbin's not a babyface. That's the point. This Mysterio family story is so backwards. It's all people were talking about on Friday. It's mind-boggling. So the guy in a four-minute match nine times, either Ray or Dominic or even one time, I don't know what show Dave was watching, Corbin slides out of the ring and he goes to run around the post and get back in, and Aliyah jumps right in front of him and blocks him. That's undoubtedly interference. So nine times in four minutes... And now, when the match is over, Baron Corbin says, I'll get you next time, Mysterio family. He vows that next time he's going to be prepared for these miscreants. So, what, he's going to show up with Ziggler and Rude? He's still outnumbered. It's still going to be three on four. So anyway, flabbergasted watching this storyline. Maybe they're building up to a six-man or something, but... You know, whatever they're doing, this was a very wacky way to do it because I'm sitting there feeling sympathy for Baron Corbin. Look at these Mysterios thinking, what's going on here? What are but you guys Brian, doing? Brian, hold on. I don't Expl- want to hear this. Explain to the people that didn't see it what dastardly thing Baron Corbin did to have this Nothing. whole thing. Nothing. He did a promo. He walked in on them when they were doing a promo. That's the thing. If they would have put any thought into this, that you could have spanned this out over like three weeks to give the Mysterios a reason to be this defensive of Buddy, I guess, who does not speak for himself. You know, he went from Seth not speaking for him to now the entire Mysterio family speaks for him as he sits in the background. And the really the disappointing part about you saying that you're getting all of this reaction is... If you, besides the fact that it sucks to be Otis, if you look at what SmackDown has as its main feuds, like, it's really good. Like, if you were to give me a pay-per-view that had Roman and Kevin Owens, Daniel Bryan and Jey Uso, Big E and Sami Zayn, Bailey and Bianca, Rude and Ziggler against the Street Profits, like, that's all a win. Like, Sasha and Carmella... Depends on where you, you know, what you think about Carmella. And, but this Dominic and Buddy thing, even if it leads to like Lars coming out as the partner or whatever, whatever it's going to be, how they've started it off Lars. has been so. Say, well, well, who, who else, who hasn't been around for a while on SmackDown? Doesn't have to be around Rude and Ziggler. But Rude and Ziggler are going to be tied in with the Street Profits. Eh, they could still do both. I don't know well, who yeah, else I it would be. You, Maybe he'll I, show up with a, a machine gun or something. I, well, I don't think that's going to be the case unless Rocky Romero has now been signed on to be a uh, associate uh, writer for WWE or whatever. But I mean, that's the problem. Is Rocky so Romero good? Say what? Rocky Romero? Who? Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, didn't he book? Uh, was a, a main factor in booking everything that took place on Talking Shop of Mania? All right, are you that's talking about? I thought you that's said that's going to be the only time you're going to see a. You're going to see the only time you I see a gun it. ever brought into wrestling programming. I thought you were breaking programming. news here on this program. No. This, this, That'd be ridiculous. Sakes. That doesn't happen here. Look, at you are, you are all just I'm not even done yet. You're, you're, you're talking this. all... I haven't even talked. You asked me what happened. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Baron Corbin, here's the entire thing that led to all of this. I just this. had to get my stuff in because for the next five and a half Nonsense. minutes, I know you're going to be it's ranting take two about seconds. this. Take two seconds. Go ahead. Baron Corbin says, it's too bad, Ray that you couldn't pass any of your in-ring talent on your boy. All right. A little bit of a low blow, okay? But, I mean, to be fair, Ray's, at this point, infinitely more talented than Dominic. He didn't say, this ain't your kid. What are you doing with Eddie Guerrero's kid? He didn't say anything like that. (laughs) He just basically said, you're more talented than Dom. Okay, well, whatever. It's fair. He says, you've passed your bad judgment onto your daughter. It's like, well... I mean, her current boyfriend tried to take out her father's eye like three months ago. I mean, that's basically a fair statement, whether it's true or not. I mean, come on. And then he says, there's no way this guy is going to be together with Aaliyah next Thanksgiving. And I thought, dude, I bet you a thousand bucks these these two aren't a couple next Thanksgiving. He's absolutely right about that. Yeah. Now they all have to attack him four on one. That's come on. 
Family Ridiculous. leave means a lot to the Mysterio family, I guess. You Ridiculous. Know? It's, it's, once you're in there, you're in there, and they're they're going to go nuts over you. I mean, hey, look, Ray's been the one bringing his entire family out here this entire time anyway, so maybe family really does mean a lot more to Ray than we think it does now. Maybe he's tired of hearing about Eddie and all that stuff of the past. He's done with those jokes. He's out there, and now Buddy's a part of his family. Everybody's got to pay. But, like, seriously... You could have spanned this out and built up to how that could have made sense where Baron was backed into a corner and made to look like a fool, ends up getting, you know, outsmarted by all the baby faces and outnumbered, and then he picks a partner. But, like, they start off with this, and it's just... I don't know. Because Hold on. To me, it feels like they're moving towards some sort of tag match where Buddy's going to be doing all the work for everybody. Spurzier says, hey, just because he's right, that gives him the right to say it? Well, actually... This might surprise people in 2020, but you have the right to say whatever you want. I mean, he has freedom of speech to say that Ray is more talented than Dominic. Now, canceled. Rude? Yeah, he's rude. But you know what? He deserves to be attacked four on one? No. That's well, not maybe, right. Maybe it's cumulative, Brian. Maybe that look, he, he was physically, a, physically accosted by four people. Baron's been a bastard for a long, long time now with this whole King Corbin thing. You hear the way Corey hypes him up. Maybe like, maybe this is just an effect of all of this time, and it's just they had to take everything out on him that night. That was the night he had to get beat up by all the members of the Mysterio family. This they're doing says, it. They're doing it for everybody. This person says they have the right to get upset about it. Yeah, they do have the right to. Listen, bro, have you ever been out in the real world? Get off the internet. Okay? If I'm walking down the street with my daughters, and some bro comes up and says, too bad you didn't pass any of your stunning good looks on your daughter. Okay? <laughs> Guy has the right to say that. Okay? Lion ass. All right? I got the right to get mad about it. I do not then have the right to beat the ever-living hell out of him. I go to well, jail if that happens. No, see, this is where you have a right to be angry, but you do not have a right to go mad and yes, beat that man. Yes, exactly. That's what I just said, Mike. Animals go mad. This person go says, mad. when Aaliyah steps in front of Corbett, I'm going to just leave it like that. May as well be his name. When he tries to do that thing, his response is, quote, what's going on? Excellent question, Baron Corbett. Yeah, it is an excellent question. What was going on? He's being he's being attacked by a gang. That's what was going on. A gang? It's a family with it. Come on. It was a gang. A gang. Jeez. Bro. It's an Murphy old man is not and a young part of the girl. family. He's dating Dude. the daughter. That doesn't make it part of the family. It was a gang. A, they're not a gang. A, they're, no, they're as much of a gang as like people who are on Maury Povich and Jerry Springer as a family are a gang, for heaven's sakes. My God, a young girl out there, she, she's part of this gang. Aaliyah's the gang leader of all of this. First says, Come I'm on. not even a Corbin fan. In fact, I hate him when he's on my TV. But watching SmackDown, I was cheering. This six foot six fighting baby face who barely said an egregious thing <laughs> earlier in the night and then got bullied four on one later by a family of, I can't even say what he called them or she oh. called them, DBs. Oh. It had to be a double turn. You can't tell me otherwise. I'm telling you otherwise. Do you double watch turn. SmackDown? Clearly, that's not a double turn. They don't double know what they're turn. doing. Well, that's fair. I'm convinced that the stunt they pulled with the Mysterio family on Friday, if they had live crowds, people would have booed them out of the building. No, will you stop? It was Baron Corbin, for heaven's sakes. Let's not act like this was some, you know, somebody on the sure. borderline. I'm not sure. Sami Zayn or something. Come on. Imagine, this person says, portraying probably the most natural baby face on your show, Rey Mysterio and his son. Liars, cheaters, cowards. I hate Corbin. Even I cheered and clapped. For him, like he was a hero in that segment. What horrible booking. Mm. This person says, Who's who in WWE? AW, two heel factions, feuding in the main event, with a third lone wolf heel attack to close the show. Yet, everyone's motivation at least makes sense. WWE, fans are left wondering if this Mysterio family, this gang, turned heel. Gang. As they gang up on the hated Corbin. Does Vince interact with actual real-life people? No! You know Vince interacts with everyday gimmicks? That's it. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. 
Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.